nature at least tries to attain perfection, unlike humanity Steve, which just confuses itself with counter morals and exceptions. Show me an imperfection in nature that occurred naturally without the possibility of human nature having gotten in the way, and I'll look deeper into it. I had two male cats. The dominant one mounted and had sex with the other one constantly, frequently ejaculating on him. Which part of nature's perfection was this? Nature's perfection would stop the behavior right there, simply by killing the cat with time, and not giving him progeny. There is no possible way for your male cat to impregnate another male cat. Hence, there will be no bloodline continuation and balance is kept for one male and one female to continue on the species. But nature will continue to produce homosexual cats and humans even if both parents are heterosexual. This is a flaw in your natural order. But their bloodline will stop with each that comes along and decides to settle on a homosexual partner. There is no flaw when time is considered as constantly moving, and the smartest survive, meaning those who get to procreate. Those who chose not to, stop right there, and eventually, without the influence of mentally unstable men either through drug, or are led to believe they are gay, when it's just a combination of, or excessive obsession with, curiosity and rebellion. Nature will turn out heterosexual people by natural selection. Natural selection has not bred out homosexual cats. There are not drugs involved. No pedophiles, no sinful curiosity. One of my male cats just had sex with my other male cat on a daily basis. I am pretty sure there was no societal pressure at work there. Your rationalizations for human behavior do nothing to explain animal behavior. You would agree that sometimes people are born with both male and female genitalia, right? How is it that God would allow a person to be born a hermaphrodite, but you can't believe it is possible that God would allow a person to be born gay? I don't care if they are gay, different religion, anything. But, if they ask if I think what they do is right, I will tell them no, it's not. And that's what I'm telling you. Steve, in my opinion, but from what I'm compelled to say from that same force your disbeliefs and ideas of the non-existence of the spiritual will not only not protect you from them, but rather make you more vulnerable. And by your continued talking on the pride of how you know God doesn't exist and such like, that vulnerability is evident. Am I saying I'm not vulnerable to it? No, I am. But at least I'll admit it. I just have no clue what the point of that last sentence was. It would make an interesting exercise in grammatical structure.